Welcome back to Ultimate Movie Recaps. Thanks for supporting us. Today I am showing a 2021 American action comedy film titled Red Notice. Watch out for the spoilers, just enjoy and take care. At the beginning of the movie, the narration starts telling the love story of Mark Anthony and Cleopatra. We come to know that he has gifted three golden eggs to his queen on the eve of their wedding to show his devotion. But the biggest mystery is the missing of three bejeweled golden eggs. For years, it seems a rumor. But later, people unearth two eggs, still, the possession of the third one is a mystery. Out of the two one was sold in the market and the other was displayed in a museum. Further, we notice a man making an artificial egg. In the next scene, we notice, the FBI team entering a museum where the golden egg is kept. The FBI agent John is also teamed with Interpol agent Doss. Doss orders the manager to clear the museum. According to their information, a thief is going to steal the egg from there. John declares that the thief has already stolen the egg replacing it with a fake one using a thermal scanner. The manager doesn't believe him and ignores him satirically. Meanwhile, John takes a cool drink from a kid and pours it on the egg and it starts to melt. Das immediately orders to seal the museum. Here we watch a thief named Booth trying to escape from that place. John and the whole team try to arrest him but Booth escapes deceiving all of them. The whole team could not catch him. After a while, we notice Booth going on a boat towards his hideout on an island. As he removes the egg from the bag, he suddenly hears John's voice. Booth realizes that John has come along with his team to arrest him. John declares that he has the full history of his robbery. When Booth inquires how he knew his hideouts, John answers that his partner Bishop revealed everything to him including his information. Both, Booth and the Golden Egg are transported in two different vehicles so that he can't steal again. John hands over the egg to an officer, but it turns out to be Bishop who disguises herself as an officer. She replaces the real egg with a fake one and moves away without any trace. A few hours later we see Doss meeting John in a hotel. She informs John that the egg confiscated from Booth is a fake one. She suspects and arrests him even though he tries to prove his innocence. He is sent to a Russian jail located in the mountains. Surprisingly his cellmate turns out to be Booth and he feels happy to see John in the same jail. Booth further informs John that a billionaire in Egypt has declared that he will present all the three eggs to his daughter during her wedding and whoever brings them to him will receive a huge payout. Hearing this, John inquires about the third egg as no one knows about the third egg. Booth doesn't tell anything about the third egg, but he adds that he is still thinking about the second egg that is in the possession of an arms dealer Sato Voce, secured safely in his secret vault. Booth tells him that Voce likes parties very much and soon he is organizing a party in his villa. As it's a masquerade party, everyone comes wearing a mask. Later Booth declares to everyone that John is not a cop but an FBI agent and this prompts a well-built inmate to challenge John. The guards immediately respond to the fight and send them into their cells. After some time an officer informs that Captain wants to meet them. They come face to face with Bishop, John's partner. She used to inform John about everything. She apologizes for trapping them. She declares that she has come here to know about the third egg which only Booth knows. She even offers him that if he tells her the info about the third egg she will bring him out of the jail and will also share a 10% commission. Booth denies the offer prompting her to leave. Further, John declares that he wants to catch her and prove himself innocent. He asks Booth if he abides him as both will achieve their mission. At night John reminds Booth about the party for which they have to plan. The next day they execute the plan by blasting that place with help of a soap bar and cleaning solution. As smoke and dust spread everywhere, they run towards the main gate. They use the access card which the Booth had stolen when guards were taking John to his cell after the commotion. In the next scene, they reach the helicopter by breaking the wall of the jail. Guards try to stop them. In one instance John was about to die, fortunately, he survives from death. Finally, they board the chopper and escape from there. Further, we see Bishop taking hostage of an FBI agent. She deletes all the records and data present in that computer. 
She further informs the agent that John and Booth have escaped from the jail and they are also planning to attend the Voce's party. Tambui, Booth's friend helps both of them to attend the party. Booth informs John we have to reach the vault by evading guards and security cameras. But the vault gives access by recognizing Voce's voice and face. Further, he informs him that there is a password for which they have to steal his phone and thumbprint too. In the next scene, we notice both of them arriving at the party. Booth tells John to steal his phone and he will manage to take his fingerprints. John notices Bishop, Booth restrains him from going to her. But John goes and offers her a dance. He does it to attract Voce's attention so that he could steal his phone. John cleverly steals his phone when he approaches Bishop with jealousy. On the other hand, we see Booth successfully taking his thumbprints. They both come to the bedroom evading the guards. They come into his room secretly and manage to open the store with the help of his phone and fingerprints. Before they enter, Agent Doss corners both of them but John pulls her out and goes inside with Booth. As they are about to snatch the egg, out of nowhere Bishop intercepts both. They fight a lot with Bishop but they could not subdue her, finally she handcuffs both of them. Voce also arrives there with his guards and we can infer that she is working with Voce so as to trap both of them. Then both of them are taken to a secret place and tied to a log. Here Bishop declares Booth that she will let them go if he tells her about the location of the third egg otherwise she will torture John. Bishop gives an electric shock to John and gives much pain to him. After seeing him suffer, Booth discloses that the third egg is located in a pyramid in Cairo. She celebrates the discovery of the third egg by giving champagne to Voce and making him faint by spiking the drink. Here we can notice that she has double-crossed him too. She takes the egg from Voce and flees from there. After some time, Voce restores his senses and starts to fire widely which makes John free from his cuffs. John thinks to leave Booth alone because he has been tortured because of him. But Booth says to John that he has informed a wrong location. Listening to this, he releases him and they manage to escape. They find themselves in a stadium where bullfighting is going on and they were stuck. On the other side, we see Voce pursuing both of them. But they both manage to escape from there. In the next scene, we see both of them going on a train and John asks him about the third egg. John even tries to frighten him but he doesn't tell him anything. He then tells Booth about his father, who was a con man that just disappeared from his life when he was 13. Booth then tells Hartley a little history about the third egg. It was recovered by a Nazi art collector named Rudolf Seich, and after stashing away all the stolen Nazi artifacts along with the egg were taken to Argentina. Booth later found out that the watch that his father loved so much was actually a key to finding the safe where the egg was kept. The guys go to Argentina where they find a passageway to a huge vault containing loads of stolen artifacts. After they find the egg, Bishop arrives, along with Doss and her team of agents. A shootout ensues, which leads to a chase through the caves in old cars. Bishop and Doss struggle for the egg during the chase, but Booth manages to get it back. The three ride their car out of the cave and over a waterfall. Booth grabs the egg and starts to leave, but he can't find John. Not wanting to let him die, Booth attempts to go into the water to save him, but he turns out to be fine. Bishop swims to shore, but when it looks like John is about to arrest her, they instead kiss. They then reveal that John was working with Bishop the whole time, as they are a couple who have been planning the egg heist from the beginning and used Booth to lead them to the third egg. They leave him cuffed to a tree before making their getaway. John and Bishop go to Cairo where the billionaire is hosting his daughter's wedding, presenting her not only with the three eggs but also a special musical performance from Ed Sheeran. Doss and her agents crash the party and arrest the billionaire while John and Bishop get away quietly, their payment already secured. The couple is on a boat when they are found by Booth. He informs them that he tipped off Doss about the couple's scheme, and she has their whole $300 million steel frozen in their accounts. Booth offers them a chance to team up with him on another bigger score, or he will leave them to be arrested. John and Bishop reluctantly agree. Doss and her agents arrive too late and find neither of them. She goes back to her office and issues a red notice on all three criminals. The trio then arrive in Paris at the location of their next big score, the Louvre. Thanks for watching.